when I first ran for Attorney General in Massachusetts and then serving two terms there, ran for the United States Senate, I proved in those elections that white voters would vote for a black candidate because I won. I would not vote for any candidate because of their race or their sex or their religion, nor would I vote against one for their race or their sex or their religion. To me, those are not the most important things. I have never met Barack Obama. I have talked with him uh, on the telephone. He sent me a copy of his book, and he wrote in it a, a very warm, uh, a very generous inscription. Thanks for paving the way for me and for so many others. I sent him the book I had just written, Bridging the Divides, My Life, by Edward W. Brooke. He obviously is a very intelligent, a very articulate, seems to me to be a man of, of high quality and high character. I don't know Mrs. Clinton. I came in contact with her when she was a student graduating from Wellesley College. She was the first woman to speak at that at a Wellesley commencement. Her tone was strident, and uh, I just got the impression that here was a young lady who knew where she was going and how she intended to get there. I think the country has matured to the point where they recognize that the color of skin or the sex of a person is of much less importance than the ability of that person to be President of the United States.